Good day coders, this is Bagare and today we are back with another video where we simplify these coding concepts. So the main, the main focus of this video is going through a step-by-step -step process to creating like an endpoint to get our currently uh, logged in users user ID, right? Without having to pass it in like our request parameter, right? So I'll show you two approach and the first one is like the most commonly one, uh, the most commonly used one and the second one is like the most efficient way, right? So my advice is before you uh, go about tackling this, you should also watch my video on uh, user authentication using JWT, right? Which is JSON Web Token. So now let's get to the code. All right, so what you need to do is, um, so the main, the, the common approach that developers use is they will have like an HTTP get, right, and then route, and then they'll just say users and just have like a user ID. This is passing like the user's ID through the request parameter, right? And then they'll have an async I action, and then they'll say get user ID right which is an int ID and then this int ID will return an OK with a new user ID which is equal to this ID right okay so this is the most like the first approach right so uh, let's go about now testing this right if this actually works so we'll go in our postman so i've already created these endpoints so get current user so if you test this endpoint uh we should get the user id equals to one right and then now um i'll show you like um uh, the problem with this is let's say now you want to verify if a user a logged in user or this user is actually linked to a specific task right um so with this you also need to pass in like the task id so you'll have to also pass in like the task id and then you'll use this task id to actually query from the task um id and actually see if this id actually matches to this user's uh, user id right so that's just an overkill right so because we know that we've set up our, our, like our token, right? Which already has like our user data, right? So what we can do over here is still have the same approach where we create this get, uh, HTTP get, right? And then right over here, we'll wanna have like our users, right? Then we'll just have current, so current, this is just to signify that this is like an endpoint for getting our current user and then uh, public async this is a task i action i uh, i action result no 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 no, no. i action result right and then this is get logged in user id right it's about my get wrong so get a, a logged in user id so this will return like all the same thing right but just now what we're going to use is actually uh access our user id through our claims right so how we go about doing that is we'll have an http context so our HTTP context, then we'll access our user dot, and then we wanna find the first value. And then here we'll pass in like our actual claim name, right? So our claim name here is actually um, user ID. So, so if you watch my uh, user authentication uh, with JSON Web Token, you'll actually see how I actually implemented like the claims from our J uh, our token, right? So yeah, so now we see like we've got like a red squiggly line, and this is because this returns to us like a string, and we need to convert this to an integer. So we'll just say int dot two int right int thirty two right and yeah 
this should actually give us something uh, so if we stop and we run this right so what this would do for us is let's come here come here actually remove this guy and actually test this right so if we test this what we see here is we get like our um, user id uh, which is zero right so the reason for this is because we didn't pass in like a token and it doesn't know what this user is and which so since we didn't pass in a user uh, a token this will actually uh, cheat it as this user is not actually logged in right so now let's see if what what would happen if we actually pass in like our token right we pass in like our token and we just say this and save and actually come here and we run this now this changes to say user id equals to two because it can extract that from our like uh, jwt token right so but um since this functionality is trying to get like the currently logged in user's id right we don't want to call this endpoint if the user is not actually logged in right so how we can actually prevent that is act add an extra layer of protection um or security where we can just say authorize users can only use this right so only authorized users can use this endpoint so what would happen now since we still have like our token if we just hit submit here we'll get the same result but if we actually remove this over here and save this right it should actually uh send us like a 401 right this say status 401 unauthorized user so unauthorized users can't actually use this endpoint yeah so that's it for this video so if you like this video and you're new to the channel please don't forget to like share and subscribe now peace